You know, calluses are an important part of uh, the adaptation to barbell training. Calluses are what protects your hands, and it's important to uh, develop calluses on your hands, but it's also important to take care of your hands so that they don't get torn up. Uh, most people don't really understand the correct way to grip a bar or a chin-up bar, and as a result, uh, what, what happens a lot, we see this a lot with hard training people in gyms, is that the uh, calluses get kind of torn up. Let me, let me set my coffee in the chalk box over here and I'll show you something. My hands are normally calloused. Okay, You can see that faint yellow row of callus at the distal end of my palm. Okay, this is the distal palmar fold right there and between the distal palmar fold and the phalangeal fold there everybody will develop a row of callus. The other hand looks about the same way. Notice that I don't have a big giant gob of callus and more importantly there aren't any sores there. A lot of people tear calluses in this area of their hands because of the fact that they build up so much callus that the callus begins to grow and it accumulates and then it hangs on uh, the neural on the bar and rips off. This happens a lot of times at meets in, an, in a terribly uh, inopportune moment. Uh, last attempt deadlift, that's going to be real, real distracting. If you tear them up during the, during the snatch, your clean and jerk is kind of screwed up. We used to carry some lidocaine gel with us in case that happened because it happens quite often for people and I, I, I think that you'll find after you, you watch this that your callus formation can be controlled if you will learn how to grip the bar correctly. Now you'll notice once again that I have rather large hands. Now if you've got small hands this is going to be a problem, I'll tell you that. Right now, small-handed people a lot of times have a lot more problems with callus than people with a big hand. But let me show you a trick right now. And I think what I'll do is, is show you on this chin-up bar. Uh, the way to grip the bar, and this will apply to both uh, the barbell and the chin-up bar. When the bar is in tension, come on over here so you can see real close. When the bar is in tension in your hands, it is going to try to pull down into your fingers like this. That's an unavoidable part of, of having tension applied to the hands. So the bar is going to smash everything up in front of it as it tries to drop down into the bottom of the fingers. This is the natural consequence of holding the barbell in the hands. <clears throat> Knowing that, Let's load my hand incorrectly. Now let's, let's follow it up to the, to the chin up bar. I'm going to put my hand in the same position that most of you guys probably take a grip on the bar without thinking about it. And what, what you'll see is that I've got the bar in the palm of my hand. And that I'm now going to wrap my fingers around the bar in the palm of my hand and now I'm going to apply the tension. I'm going to leave it here for just a, a few seconds and I'm going to let the skin be affected by the tension. It's gathering up as it pulls down toward my fingers. And I'm going to pull this off of here. I want you to watch very carefully the configuration of the skin of my hand as I pull the hand away from the bar. You see that line? This line across the distal palmar fold is what produces the callus. Notice that the skin bunched up. It stopped at the crook of my fingers and wadded up into a crease. That crease is the callus formation site. If that crease gets repeatedly squeezed over and over during a workout, the callus will build and as the callus builds it gets thicker and thicker and eventually that thick callus becomes very very unpliable and it will actually hang on the bar 
and if it gets bad enough that whole area will avulse and you'll jerk the top layer of skin all the way off and it'll 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 jerk and make a bloody sore all the way down to the phalangeal fold right there and when that happens the meat is screwed up because now you've got a bloody hole everything hurts big major distraction it's hard to think about a snatch clean a jerk or deadlift if you've got a bloody achy hand so it's going to cause all kinds of problems let's use my left hand to show you the correct way to hold on to the bar. Now this is going to apply to chin-ups and anything with a barbell as well. Instead of placing the palm of my hand in the bar, I'm going to place my hand where the bar would be trying to go to anyway. Note the difference between here and here. And now watch. Same tension on the hand, and I'm going to let it hang here for the same number of minutes. But minutes really, seconds earlier, 15, 20 seconds. And now watch closely. It's flat. You see some minor creasing in my fingers. But note the absence of the crease at the end of my palm. There's no crease, there's no site for a big giant huge gathering of callus formation and therefore no uh, mechanism by which a giant heavy thick row of callus is built. I have never torn a callus at a meet or in the gym. Not one time has that ever happened because I learned a long time ago how to correctly grip the bar. I think you'll find that if you can apply this little trick to your training, it'll save your hands. There's nothing more aggravating than having a hand injury like that acquired when doing pull-ups or chin-ups affect the rest of your training for a couple of weeks while this stupid thing heals. So see if you can apply this little trick to your training and uh, let us know how it works out. Thanks.